What's going on, YouTube? So, uh, still in reality. And in reality, uh, my truck, I did my pre trip again. And I'm low on oil, so I'm gonna have to add oil. I think uh, I was drinking too much oil. So I got my funnel right here. Stick that right there. Hold that. So y'all what it look like right quick. Some of y'all ain't never changed or or pull or basically you just pull the oil down now. And uh here's the dipstick right there. You wanna make sure it's oil, so you know you got the diesel engine oil. <sighs> but anyways. Like I said, some of y'all ain't never did this. Just kind of pour it slow. Give it some time to go down. Parts here during the pre trip. Most people think I don't do this shit, but I check everything on the truck because y'all know I don't like being at the terminal broke down and shit. I check everything. I check everything with a magnifying glass. I always checking my brakes. You don't want to uh, find yourself not doing the damn pre trip, running out of oil or something. Seize up the engine. Y'all know how to do this stuff. This is real simple now. You don't need no damn degree to uh, add oil. You really don't. You might just need somebody to show you, but other than that, you should be good. How much do you add? Well, in this case, it's probably going to take two gallons because. I'm gonna check, check the dipstick right quick. Take a minute for it to go all throughout the uh, throughout the uh, throughout the engine, down the hose, and you know things like that. You gotta let it leak a little bit. I'm gonna check again underneath the uh, underneath the truck. Cause I wanna make sure. I wanna make sure I ain't got no damn oil leak. Cause I'm trying to get home, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get home. Well, at least I'm trying to make it to the East Coast. Once I make it to the East Coast, we all good. But I'm still in Cali, damn it. I am still in Cali. Uh, give it a second, like I said, give it a second. I mean, other than that, well, let me take y'all around. Some of y'all, like I said, ain't never did this. You just pull the oil down through here. I got me a little funnel right here. Come on, now. it's common sense. I don't need to stick the funnel in there. Uh, I found out when my Zonar probably ain't working. It's on the other side. Let me show y'all. Hold on one second. Look like it's something loose. It's something loose down here. Y'all probably ain't gonna be able to see it, but damn, this sun is so bright. I can't even see it. But it's actually, uh, maybe the camera might pick it up. Like right in there. Right in there, you can see like the little silver part. It's like it's uh it's supposed to be connected, but it looked like it's unconnected. I don't know if y'all can see it. I mean I can't reach it now, so that shit is way too far in now. 
But I bet that's why the Zonar ain't working. I don't know if they got anything to do with the Zonar itself though, but that's what it's looking like. Other than that, let's check the dipstick. Like I said, I ain't, I haven't seen any oil leaking or nothing leaking, so never know though. What I'm doing is, you know, pull out the dipstick, clean it, stick it back in, and uh, pray for the best, right? Better be some oil on the stick. Look at that, there ain't no damn oil on that. Y'all see that? It's got a little bit of oil on that. Let me let it run through. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Where the fuck this shit? We got another one right here. I'm gonna give it a second. Uh, I might just gotta add some more oil. Let me check it one more time. Check it one more time. And that's what I mean. So y'all watch me on YouTube, but in reality, I actually got to do the job, so. You know, all this is part of the job. So it ain't no damn oil on the, well, it's, about, it's more oil than when I checked it the first time, so. I didn't add a gallon, so I'm, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna just add a little bit more. Add a little bit more. It'll take like 10 minutes for it to go throughout the whole system, so. Let me get a, let me give it like two more minutes right quick. We'll check it one more time. But, uh, let me see. Y'all yeah, can't, you yeah, from this angle, you can't see the part that I'm talking about. But it's actually, it's, uh, it's underneath where well, it's behind this shit, so I can't really reach it. So even if I, even if, even if it was going to the zone, or I can't, I can't reach the shit, so. But, uh, other than that, uh, I put out the video yesterday. I don't know if y'all seen it. Y'all did, did I release it? Uh, behind the scenes? Yeah, I did release it. Yeah, I did release it. Uh, nobody called me, so that's it. Other than that, I mean, everything is uh, still going good. Uh, except for my engine, right? I'll check it one more time, one more time. that you would you would be able to catch this is if you check it manually you gotta always check it see me I always check it you ain't got enough oil so i gotta add i gotta add some more i'm gonna probably add this whole thing then i'm gonna go in there and probably buy some more oil like i said what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have to check it every 200 miles or so every 200 miles or so just to make sure I ain't leaking oil nowhere just pour it nice and slow you gotta have a funnel too man cause I I notice it's hard to get the whole the whole bottle in now unless you got a funnel two in a minute I'm getting at the 10 minute mark I really don't know if this first part is gonna let me upload it so YouTube is kind of funny with how, how long they let me uh, upload things